Hi everyone. So I'm doing an on the job tip for you guys. And that is how to book your table services for Disney World. So Alex and I, say hello Alex. Hello. I'm shortly about to do this. And um, I'm gonna go through exactly what you need. So the first thing you need to know is when you can book your table services online from. It's different in every part of the world. I'm from the UK and you can book it at exactly 11 a.m. in the morning, obviously, because that is a.m. I'm recording this before daylight saving hours, so before the clock goes forward an hour, but I'm presuming that it's the same after that because I haven't seen anything different online when I've been doing my research, but I have been logging into Disney at 5 to 11 every day and after 11 every day and seeing that you can magically book the next day at that time. You can phone up and book on over the phone to the Disney people from midday, but if you want to get those table services that are difficult to book, then you should do it online. Oh, and another thing to mention is you can book your table services 180 days in advance and it's usually for every day of your holiday, but people online say you can only book up 12 days, but my past experience is I've been able to book up my all 14 or 15 days that I've had booked. So we're gonna see what happens again today, whether that's changed since the last time I've done it. But essentially, you need to be wearing comfortable clothes because you're gonna be in for a long ride. You need your laptop, which Alex has his there. Mine is in here. You also need your wallet because you need to secure your booking with a credit card. So I took out a credit card that I don't get fees on when I use it abroad. So that's definitely worth thinking. You can always change your credit card. So if you don't have one, just use your normal credit card and that'll be fine. And then also, um, so Alex and I have each got a laptop. This is the first year ever that Alex has been able to help me with table services, so we've split it in two. And on that calendar we've booked, we've written out our table services that we're going to every day and then um, Alex has got half of them and I've got the other half. And that is all you need. You need your plan, your credit card, your laptop and you're good to go. Okay, so what's very weird is I've just signed in and I can sign, I can start booking for the next 11 days and it's not 10 to 11 yet. So I have to just assume that because America's daylight saving hours are a couple of weeks before us or a week, that maybe that's why it may be changed to 10 a.m. instead. But Alex is just signing in to see if he's got the same. Yeah, you do. Yeah. But we can only book the next 11 days, so we can't book the whole of our holiday, which is also a bit different to last time. Um, so we can book, yeah, 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 days, 10 nights, which is different to the last time. But we are going to start booking, hopefully, because I think we must be 50 minutes late now from our booking. Hopefully it's not going to make too much difference, but I'll show you... I'll show you our first booking. Okay, so our first booking is going to be at um, Yak and Yeti. So the simplest way is to type it in and find it. And make sure that you go on the one that's labeled table services instead of quick services. and you make sure it's the restaurant you want, and then you check availability, you go onto your date, and put in the time that you want to be there. Then you have to put in your mobile phone number, and because it's a UK number in my case, I have to put a plus, and then omit the zero, and then the rest of my mobile phone number. Then you say you've read and agreed to the guest policies, and then you press reserve. And then it's all booked, you get a reservation number and an email to your inbox. And that is how you do it. So, and that's how you do it. So we've both done our first booking, um, hopefully successfully. Did you get yours on the time we wanted? Yeah, 15 minutes earlier. 15 minutes earlier. So it's important to write that down because that will affect your fast passes and your other plans. But once you've done it, tick off your list, put the new time that you've done. And then once you've booked all that you can, then double check online on your Disney experience against your bookings and that's how you do it. I'll let you know at the end how we both got on. We're only on our second 
lot of reservations and we keep getting this sign and the times keep changing so this is why it can be a bit frustrating and um, stressful because I guess loads of people log on at 11 maybe and are trying to book it so I don't know annoying but you just have to keep persevering but the annoying thing is that every time I go in the times keep changing so I don't like it okay so small update the the thing is still not working we still can't book anything which is really stressful um we've tried a different browser so we're doing it all in safari and now we're doing i'm doing it in chrome what are you doing opera opera yeah never heard of it um but yeah so that's that is quite stressful but the interesting thing is or slightly interesting thing is that i've been able to sign into my account on two different browsers so in theory i could probably book simultaneously on the same account at the same time but um uh, in theory I could but I'm not able to book even one thing and the really annoying thing is I looked for a reservation at 7 30 and it had the time of 7 30 wouldn't let me book it refreshed it it said 7 25 booked it wouldn't let me do it refreshed it then it came back at 7 10 and 7 40 so um I can only assume that people are getting in and booking these things um this isn't as an enjoyable experience as the last few times I've done this and this is Alex's first time, so I'm guessing you're not really enjoying the experience. No, I don't. No, he doesn't. Stressful. Okay, so it's now quarter past eleven, and we haven't been able to book anything. Um, so no. Alex, huh? We booked once. Yeah, anything further? Sorry. Um, so Alex has suggested that we use our apps on our iPad and phone. So I'm going to try that and see. See if that makes any difference. Right, so it doesn't work on the app, but what came up on my app is that we have a dining reservation today um, because Alex didn't book it on the correct day. He booked his only dining reservation he was able to book. He booked it today. And if you don't go to your dining reservation um, and you cancel it within 24 hours, you get charged. So I'm hoping that Alex can cancel this so we don't get charged on my credit card because we're giving less than 24 hours notice. But we're not gonna be there, because that would be impossible. Um, so, Alex has been trying to cancel his um, reservation but can't get hold of anyone. And I've decided just to call them to try and make our dining reservations over the phone. And so we're both on hold, listening to lovely Zoos of Music. Um, I read online, and people say, have this problem lots, and they said if they logged into Safari on their phone or iPad, then that seemed to work, but I just did that, and for me, and it didn't work. So um, we haven't done anything and it's half past 11 now. So we've been trying this for 30 minutes and we only have one successful reservation. Yeah. yeah. So we've just, we've just finished doing it. It was an absolute mission. This is the worst experience I've ever had doing dinner service, table services in my life. We ended up having to call them, which I think I might have said. And Alex was on hold the whole time I was speaking to this lady. I was on the phone to her for 25 minutes, booking everything got to the last moment where I had to confirm my credit card details before she could confirm all the bookings and then my cheek hung up on her and I phoned back straight away. They don't give you the previous names of people you dealt with or put you through to them so I had to start all over again and I wanted to just pull my eyeball out with my pen um, and then I told Alex to book his so we were in separate rooms booking half the things because um, just booking half of it took me 25 minutes, although Alex was a bit quicker with his person on the phone. Mine was very thorough. Um, and it's all linked on the internet, so we double-checked everything. We didn't get all the times we wanted. Some of them were a bit out, some of them were quite out. I think only three reservations we had to change the time on. Um, and we managed to cancel Alex's booking today. They waived the charge for us, which was very generous. I think they said you get charged um, $10 each person that doesn't turn up unless it's like a two credit thing and then it's more, but I can't really remember. It's not worth a charge anyway, just cancel it. If you can, don't make bookings the same day, by mistake. Um, and so I think we're done, but we could only book for 10 days of our holiday, which is also different from the last time. I could book every day of my holiday last time. This is the first time I've ever booked on a Saturday. It's been horrible and awful. It's now 20 past 12, so that's taken us an hour and a half to do. What a bore. But most of our stuff is booked, just not the last few days of our holiday. Um, so 
we can log in every day and book the next day. So tomorrow we'll be able to book the next day. So we're still gonna be way ahead of normal people that will be able to book 180 days in advance because we're gonna be booking 190 days in advance, basically. Um, so yeah, so we've only got a few more left to book. That was my experience, it was crap. How was your experience? Yeah, very good. <laughs> we were 17. We've got 17 bookings. Alex was being sarcastic, I think, about it being really good, um, although you can't tell. And um, I don't know if any of you found that helpful. I think it's a warning that if you're gonna be booking something on a Saturday, it's gonna be hell. Um, give yourself triple the time that you think you're gonna to need to do this. Um, I think booking um, thingies, table services in the week is much easier, but obviously you can't help what day your thing lands on. You can't help it. Um, unfortunately, our fast passes fall on a Saturday as well. So I'm sure that's going to be a crap time for all of us involved. But I'll film that so you can enjoy that too. Um, thank you for watching. Good luck if you've got yours to book. I hope your experiences are going to be better than mine. If they're not and they're crap, just know that you're not alone and you're not, um, you know, whatever. <laughs> I can't even think. Anyway, so we're going to go. It's snowing and I need to finish revising. So I've just wasted an hour and a half of my revision time, which is even more pleasing. But anyway, it's booked and that is happy. So love Disney. Bye.